I observe the floating mass on the water in a tub accelerate toward the edge of the tub. From this observation I understand that gravity concentrate at opposite side of their mass and this is one clue that why universe is expanding and why huge gravity at the edge of galaxy which considered as dark energy and dark matter one of the great mystery of the universe dark matter is a kind of matter hypothesized in astronomy and cosmology to account for gravitational effects that appear to be the result of invisible mass there are numbers of observation has proved existence of dark matter whatever I systematically understand dark matter in the course of EDX this is a online course from the world's best universities with best teacher and the name of course was greatest unsolved mysteries of the universe and the great teacher is dr. Brian Schmidt who won the 2011 Nobel Prize for Physics and dr. Paul Francis he is a prize-winning educator in one lecture in dark matter of that course I understand how gravity is more than mass and the respective mass of extra gravity missing in this lecture I understand one interesting thing about galaxy the gravity is very large at the edge of galaxy as compared to its center and actually huge stuff looking at the center of galaxy and this is the mystery according to Newton's law of universal gravitation there is no mass without gravity if there is gravity so there is mass dark matter has huge amount of gravity and their respective mass is missing this is mystery of dark matter to come at right conclusion we need to verify that every mass is gravity or not we can do one experiment in space where is zero gravity we can take two heavy balls in space m1 and m2 where is zero gravity available those two balls should have small distance between them now we have to observe that can they attract each other or not but at my personal level it is not possible to me to do above suggested two masses experiment on gravity in the space but we can do some experiment on earth to observe how gravity work on masses to come at right conclusion I have taken a tub with filled up by water and there are two masses floating on that water water of tub will stable after few hours make sure no airflow have to disturb water now water is perfectly horizontal with earth surface and floating masses are eligible to move horizontally anywhere within tub boundary we can assume here that masses have zero gravity at horizontal plane and masses are free to move at horizontal plane for convenient to see this video's speed increased by 32 times I noticed that really those two masses are tracked each other by their gravitational force while doing this experiment many times with many direction unfortunately I observe one interesting thing that both masses not only attracted each other but also attracted toward the edge of tub let's see more properly here you will notice the mass is attracted toward the edge of tub mass not only attracted but also accelerated toward the edge of tub this experiment I repeated many times with different direction 
but really mass accelerated toward the edge of tub. For more clarification, I pushed mass, and you will notice that, that mass, again and again accelerated toward the edge of tub. From this observation, we can conclude, that gravity is more, at the edge of tub, as, compared to, center of that tub. For strong confirmation, please do this experiment at your home, or, lab. It has very simple construction, just float any considerable mass in water tub, you will notice in some minutes or hours that mass touch the edge of tub. But ensure, airflow, or others thinks, sh should not disturb experiment. Well, if we look at the shape of tub, then we notice center portion of tub has more volume as compared to edge. Therefore water mass is more at center as compared to edge. Therefore, gravity should have more at center as compared to the edge of that tub. But that observation shows opposite results. That gravity more at the edge compared with their center. And same thing happen with galaxy. There is huge amount of gravity at the edge of galaxy. Which is considered as dark matter. I think this is a strong clue about the of dark matter. About their fact. This chart shows how speed is increasing with distance. Distance and time, reading noticed between mass, and, the edge of tub. Reading start from where the mass was 60 mm, away, from the edge of tub. Distance and time readings counted from mass to edge of tub. Through this chart, we will be sure, that really mass accelerate toward edge of tub. Through the, tub, and, mass experiment, I understand one thing definitely. That gravity concentrate at opposite side of their respective mass. And same thing observes in galaxy. Where, gravity is very large, at the edge of galaxy, as compared to its center, and, this huge gravity on the edge of galaxy, considered, as a dark matter. But now, I sure, this is a property of gravity, that gravity concentrated, at opposite direction of mass. This is one another strong clue, that, while galaxies are accelerating from one point. With reference to the tub, and, mass experiment. I am sure, there is a edge of universe, and all galaxies are accelerated toward that edge, and, there is no forces pushing galaxy, from center. In fact edge of the universe, and, all galaxies attracting each other, which may consider as dark energy. I confirm, the gravity concentrate at opposite side of mass, if we consider edge of the universe, then, the center of universe, should have huge amount of mass, but it has not looks concentrated mass, at the center of universe, at the present time. I think this is also one more clue of Big Bang Theory, which gives indication of huge amount of, very dense mass, concentrated at center of universe, nearly 13.8 billion year ago.
I think all stuff of the universe including all galaxies are working as the supreme galaxy which known as universe. And in this supreme galaxy our galaxies are as like a star. Just like atom is itself one system. Earth is itself one system. Solar system is itself one system. Galaxy is itself one system. My experiment of mass and tub is also a system. And I think universe is also itself one system.